Roadside fly fishing. I haven't done this in a long time. I've always wanted to fish this canal that's over my shoulder here. And we're about ready to see if this thing has any fish. Now, it's lots of danger and warning signs, no floating craft, or maybe because you might be sucked down in some whirlpool hole or something, but we're gonna go fish off the beach and see if maybe we can catch a fish in this canal. So welcome to another episode of Roadside Fly Fishing. I tried on something a little different. Still have a jig leech, but this time it's olive with a orange bead head. See if this see if anything wants to eat this. Okay, we're going back to where it all started. We're going with the fly fishing version of a potski egg, hook and worm and a big strike indicator, AKA bobber. Wow. Fish-like structure, right? So maybe, maybe they might be closer to the bridge here. Maybe these uh, canal fish are a little snobby and they'll just eat a dry fly. Saw a couple uh, fish splash on top. Maybe, maybe they'll eat a dry fly. Let's find out. Now I just need a rising fish. Oh, and he ate it and I wasn't looking. I just had a fish come up and eat it and I wasn't looking. I just looked up and saw a boil where my fly once was. Well, I had my chance, but I was uh, asleep at the wheel when I put on the dry fly and had an eat and didn't set the hook on time. But this spot's just a little bit boring. I found myself almost falling asleep a couple times. So we're gonna head down the road and see what else there is to see. Let's go find another place to fish. This looks promising. Wow, just really pretty water. I think, uh, I think this, this looks like Sculptzilla territory. So, could be a good stop, let's hope. See if we can get into another fish. Cutthroat, rainbow, whatever. I just wanna catch a fish. Let's do this, fish on. Tying on a confidence fly, Sculptzilla. Absolutely love this fly. Oh. See what there is to see out here. This river is a little bigger than I anticipated. Hopefully, I'm not. Uh, hopefully, I'm not undergunned. Holy! Shit. Is that what I think it was? that the trout are just kind of put off. Maybe maybe they push them out, maybe they feel threatened by them, but I'm gonna head a little bit further up the road and see what else there is to see. Kind of cool though, see these uh, salmon in here. Like super cool. Man, some of these dips in the road, 
it's just pretty jarring, but I'm uh, kind of getting up in elevation here and trying to look for somewhere else to fish. Thought I saw a river to my left. Oop, we're now getting into, oh no. <laughs> we uh, we just got off the, off the road and are on dirt road and there's pretty much a crater at the end of that path. Wow, jeez. All right, let's keep driving down the road and see what we find. Wow, this is looking really good. Oh. Wow. I love some of the things you find just driving down the road. Holy smokes. Definitely looks like somewhere I want to run my Sculptzilla through. Definitely. I mean, how cool is this? I am way up in the Cascade Mountains. And there are salmon. There are salmon in this river. It's pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure they're king Chinook salmon. And it's just super cool. And it kind of brings me back to last year when I was fishing one of these Cascade Rivers with a four weight and got into a pretty big surprise catch. Fish on! Oh my God! I just came across this little spot here and I thought I hooked the bottom so I didn't have my camera on. And it's this massive salmon. Look at this thing. Come on, come into the soft water. I mean, I'm giving the rod everything it can handle. I can't even stick this in the net. Look at this thing. Oh. If it goes in the current, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get it in. Oh. All right, chase is on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This massive salmon while I'm trout fishing. Oh my God. Oh, please stay over here in the soft water. Come on, buddy. Can you see this thing? It's a giant Chinook salmon. Look at this thing. I mean, how is this thing even still living? Holy crap. All right, buddy. Well, go ahead and live out your life. So that thing was way spawned out. Happened to just get in the way of my nymph and just took me on a pretty fun ride. So. Made for a great story, but I'm certainly glad it didn't destroy my rod and break me off and just cause a big mess. Super fun. But if you want to watch the full episode of that particular trip, I'll post it right here. And this just goes to show you, I don't always catch fish and you're not going to always catch fish either. It's just about getting outside with the fly rod and enjoying the outdoors. That's really what it's about. Catching a fish is just a bonus. All right, everybody, till the next time, fish on.